So from that test, um, I'm pretty confident that I can drive this car as long as I want in one stretch without overheating. So without the cooling fins, um, at 15 laps, uh, the temperature of the outside of the case was over 50 degrees Celsius. Um, testing it with the fins, I did 37 laps and the temperature never went over 48 degrees on the outside of the case. So I think that's pretty, uh, pretty safe to say that I could drive uh, as long as I wanted. So those um, aluminum tape cooling fins and this computer fan uh, really, really help cool down this motor. So I know these cooling fins are working because I just ran 30 laps and if I touch the top of the fin, it's very, very hot. So the heat is dissipating from the motor up through the fin. So it gives more surface area so I can cool down way faster than if it didn't have the cooling fins. So while I drive this cart, I mark down every lap that I do. So I've marked here, here, and there. So um, 50, I do rows of 25. So there's five sets of five. Um, and two rows is one kilometer, because it's a 20 meter track. In total, I have about 400 laps. So this is my temperature gauge for an oven, and I have it hooked up to my small cart, to the motor, because the motor has been overheating. I notice a loss of power. It gets very, very hot to the touch. So I'm going to add some cooling fins. I already have this cooling fan uh, from a computer. It's a computer fan. So I'm just doing some laps now. I've already done eight laps here, the first five and then the next three. Um, and I'm just watching the temperature increase. Um, so I started off at 28 degrees, so it's climbing quite fast while I'm driving. So I can actually drive um, at the same time as I can uh, record the temperature. If I do 10 laps, I'm at about 50 degrees on the outside of the case. The inside of the motor will be a lot hotter. And that's not so I took the motor off the cart. I have it here with the motor arm. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking this box cutter and I'm scraping the paint off. So I want to make a heat sink. I'm going to have heat um, fins here to dissipate the heat so it doesn't overheat as much. And I'm going to try this metallic tape. So this is like a tinfoil tape. I'm going to make little wings out of it. It's the easiest, so I don't have to solder any kind of connections. So in order to get the heat um, from the motor easily into the tape, this already has a sticky side, which prevents some of the heat getting in. I want to make sure that there's no more paint or anything else. So I'm scratching it all the way down to the metal. So after I shaved most of the paint off, I used um, this 80 grit sandpaper. It's very rough. And I just sanded to get the remainder of the paint off. So now I can put on uh, the cooling fins. So this is how it cools. So this fan is running and it's pushing the air right past the motor. So now that there's no paint, it's going to conduct heat better. So the heat will be conducted up from the metal surface up into the fin and then the wind going past it um, will cool it down. So when you're doing this you have to use the metal tape. You need tape that is thermal uh, conductive. If you just use normal duct tape or something like that, it's plastic, so it will actually insulate the motor. The heat will not be conducted through the tape. So this is like tin foil. It's aluminum, so the, the um, heat conductivity is very high. It's easiest to bend the shape of your fin with the paper backing on it so it doesn't stick to itself. And then after you can peel this off and then stick the two sides together and then stick this foot onto the motor. So now I've installed all the fins, the cooling fins on the motor. Uh, so I went with larger fins um, for the center of the motor. So this is actually where mo most of the heat's produced. Right under here you have the armature, and the windings are right in the center here. And then you have magnets. So this, I think, was going to dissipate the most heat. And then I have two rows of smaller fins. And the actual fins, they go all the way around uh, to the bottom as well. So there's a lot of fins. So this will increase the surface area and allow the fan to pull the heat off the motor more effectively. So I'm using a small battery pack just to test it now. So we have the fan and the motor, and they run in parallel. The fan uses just a small amount of power. Um, and if I flip the switch, they'll both start running. So here's the motor with the cooling fins on the cart. So I'm just going to put the battery back in, and then I'll go for a test drive. But it looks pretty cool. I think it'll um, really cool down the motor. And as I drive, I'm going to watch as it heats up, and I'm going to see how much of a difference it is from the other motor. Now, if I can stay below 50, um, I'll be able to drive this as long as I want. So I did almost 40 laps, and I only got up to 47 degrees. The last time I did 15 laps, and I hit uh, 50 degrees, which is too hot. So the cooling fins are working really well. 
So here we're at 48 degrees. It's the highest we've gotten. So now I'm going to drive one lap. I just drive around and make a circle and come back here. So it's pretty handy here. I need my hand to pull up the motor. I pull this, actually pull on the lever, pull it down so it pushes into the ground so I get traction. Um, and if I'm filming with the other hand or if I'm marking how many laps I've done, I can steer with my foot like that. So there's a little thing here so I can steer the car. So now we start our lap. I'm steering with my foot. So we go past the bike here. We go around this turn. You can see all my streak marks from I've done about 50 laps today. This is a tight turn. So I have to use my hand. I hear a lot of creaking. So I switch back to my foot here. This is a straightaway. And then I just do a tight turn here. And that's it. That's the first full lap. And I go back down the straightaway. So when I'm done my lap, I just make a mark.